So we're fermenting now, and we're going to get some of this stuff that's just been hanging out in his... The dead, we're going to get this dead hair out. Get all this out. Real light, don't be, this is, could be a very painful brush if you do it wrong, so just real light. You still want to get all that dead hair out. You have to stand up. No, no. All right, now we're going to come back with our seven blade.
looks like powder. The little hairs mm -hmm. on your clipper looks like powder. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between a 10 down and a 7 reverse. That's how little hair difference it is, but it's a much smoother haircut. It is so smooth. Like, smooth. Not in the look, in the touch. If I was blind and I touched the hair, Tip seven reverse is so smooth. The cut is just different. I can't explain it. You just have to feel it for yourself. Okay. Let me double check your head and the funnest part is our I have to muzzle, muzzle you for this. on it, so it keeps catching on everything. You're used to it. I don't know how I was ever surviving without the most before. reverse and I'm going to come back down. So I did a seven, kind of down, two guard reverse and come back with my four down. No, no, no. Good. No, no, no. Oh, this will be interesting now. It's like he, he has no idea what he's doing, you know? He's just moving around. Look at his face. He's actually just doing the opposite of what I'm trying to have him do. If I want him to stand, he'll sit. If I want to go over here, he's going to turn that way. Watch. You see how I know the dog? <laughs> just you, I was using a straight shear. I never used those, but I was using a straight shear on that, on his tail. Now, right? See, he doesn't want me. He, he's ready to be done. This is body language. If I, and I've been listening the whole time. He's spinning around. He's ready to be done. He's ready to bite that. Okay. Oh, he thought it was hup, his hup, collar. Hup, hup, hup. Hup, hup, hup. Don't do that. You might you might scratch yourself with your dew claw. Okay. First thing I want to do is just let me. Can I see first? Can I see? He almost bit me last time to do the nails. Oh, you don't like it? Oh, well, I'm the groomer. I'm here with the dog. I know the dog. I've been grooming him since he's young. Now he's old. Oh, we got gum on his paw. Gum? Yep. Right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it closer to that gum. <laughs> I'm going to have her put goo gone on it to get it off. 
I'm not gonna sit here and shave it and rip it off. This is a time where if you have the large nail clipper, it's your best bet. If you have the large nail clipper, his nails are strong. So the pressure back against your hand is what's important to understand is that there's um, pressure that goes back into your hand, okay? Here we go. The meat's right there, so I'm just gonna take a sliver. See right there. There we go. Bop, 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 bop. He's doing pretty good. So this is good if you had a Dremel. This would be really easy. Boom, boom, like that. And do it like every week. Okay, don't get mad. Let me see. I tuck my shoulder over here so if he tries to bite me, because he did last time, he could bite my shoulder, but not my face. See how strong they, the nails are? Because they're thick. They're big dog nails. What is his mix? I would have to check his file and tell you. But he's rescued, so. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. We're almost done here. Focus on something else. Not much on that one. Okay. How an ear should look. Hold on, let me clean it and then we'll go back and look because you can see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you like that, Stanley? Yeah. Let me see. Don't get mad at me. This is a great looking ear. Clean. I'm, there's nothing I needed to take out of there. It's. This is a healthy, clean, smells good. This is a healthy ear. Just stay in there. He has no idea I'm looking at him. Don't open the door yet. Okay. Stanley! Stanley, you looking good? Wait, 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 don't jump up there. Let me lower this. You said I ain't jumping back up there. Stanley, I need to put... Yes, you look. <laughs> good boy, Stanley. You did good. You did so good. Much more hair off. Look how happy you look. how good you look. Look how good you look, Dad. Does that look good or what? Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Oh, yeah? Here. 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 This is, I don't know what we're doing. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, you ready? You jump up? Jump up? Say bye. Bye. You just said it's going to be, it's so hot. What? You said he's going to love it so much because he's so hot. Because he's been so hot. With all that hair, you can oh tell, miserable? Yes. Yeah. Are you happy? It looks oh, good? Oh, yeah, he looks fabulous. He won't knock you out, will he? No. Okay, great. And then that mask looks good on you, man. Every now and then you're going to groom a dog that's moving around the table a lot and sometimes it's kind of nerve-wracking and you've got too much going on. You've got wires everywhere, you've got a cart, you've got your tools over there, they're too far to touch, you've got the dog upstairs, it's over there, you're moving it, the trash is in the way, it's just frustrating. But you also have this animal that's dancing on your table, kind of watching what you're doing and wants to do what kind of what you're doing or do the opposite of what you're doing. It makes it for very tough, you know, moments. You just gotta do the best you can and try to, Dee Dee, try to calm down and really, you know, get the job done, which is what I hope I did with Stanley. So Stanley and I have been, you know, been grooming together for quite a while, and I know that because I've seen that pet parent through her first pet's loss, and I really miss her dots, uh, her Doberman Dotson, right? Doberman Pinscher, Doberman Pinscher. Yes, Dober, a large, a large one. Not a miniature Doberman Pinscher, but a, a large Doberman. Her name was Daisy, and she was so, she's so sweet. She would do this, just thing like that with her jaw. She was so, <laughs> she was so sweet. So I've seen that pet parent through the losing Daisy. And that was years ago. I mean, matter of fact, I should look and see, right? Because talking about history, you, you look at the years you've had with someone. And so 
mom's outside she's like you know outside of all this like it's hot for me it's hot and I don't know what it is with these smock you stand outside in 100 degrees you're literally sweating like dripping and so I'm like yeah you know um, I totally want to give you a hug too it doesn't even feel right it doesn't even feel like I'm supposed to allow to talk to you now what if this COVID-19 was meant to do that to pull you away from anything you ever knew before wow break every relationship you had I've been groom uh, I was grooming Daisy um, and Zoe and Blackie a cat I had been grooming her pets since 2013 but kind of before no you won't believe it you won't believe this I've been grooming, the first time they came in for grooming was 2006. I was like truly a baby groomer at that time. I just started my business in, in 2005 in Texas, here in Texas, in Watauga. And that's a long time. So I also know, oh no, she would refer to me. I used to do pet sitting for a company and I was like a contractor and outsource so she ran, ran into a problem with staffing she would let, call me and she trusted me to go pet sit so I would pet sit and this lady the pet owner of Stanley worked for her too she was like also doing that kind of thing she would be somebody that she called to do pet sitting and so we got to we we just heard about each other and so she asked if she could come in for grooming and she never left so since 2006 I was grooming Daisy I will really try to find a picture of Daisy and I mean, November 2006, February 2007, May 2007, September 2007, February 2008, June 2008, November 2008. I mean, seeing them shave downs. Mom, we were shaving her Doberman, shaving, like shave, 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 just like Stanley. It's who you are and what you like and what you don't like. No one asks, no one has to tell you what you like and what you don't like. You know what you like and what you don't like. And it might have been like, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I can. I can look at my card and tell you. I wish I could show you my card, but someone will probably copy the information and go try to contact the person. Which has happened. Ha ha. So 2006, we were not shaving yet. And then come, like, I think maybe something happened. I might have I might have said, hey, do you, you want to try it? And, you know, this Doberman seemed like, I don't know about you, if you've ever seen one, had soft hair. And it would stick out and be flary. <laughs> like flyaways everywhere. Thick hair, too. So I might have said, hey, do you want to do a shave down and try it out and we did and we never went back <laughs> never went back so November 2006 until now which is August 2020 it's pretty amazing to look back at clients that have been with you for so long it just touches my heart so Tina if you're watching this which I hope you do I hope you watch till I'm talking I love you, girl, and thank you so much for trusting your babies with me and supporting me during COVID-19 and just being there as a client and friend for so long. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, those of you guys watching, Stanley always gets shaved down, and Stanley came into their family. Ah, maybe. Let me see if I can. She brought a foster dog named Monty. Was this Monty? Very sweet. That was uh, April 2016. 17, 18, 19, 20. So four years we've been shaving him down. And I'm like, for a long time. That's quite a while. Let me make sure. She she might have done some rescue stuff, though. If that was his name in the beginning. So it wasn't Stanley, right? It was Monty. Yeah, it probably was. That makes sense. Then we shave down, like, uh, every 10 months. That's it. it just Every 8 to 10 months. Maybe 6 months, but usually about once a year. Once every 10 months is about an average for her. So this time it was a little bit stretch. When you stretch that a little bit further, the hair is a lot thicker. It takes a little bit more time and really strong hair. That stuff is sticking in your arm, in your elbow arm. I love the seven reverse. I need you to try it. If you're doing shave downs on dogs that have that, like a Labrador Golden Retriever, it's really thick hair. Australian Shepherd, Doberman Pinscher, Chihuahuas, yes, Chihuahuas, Boston Terrier, Pug, hair that's strong, thick, short hair dog, but there's a lot of hair still. Do the 10 down that you normally did, or 
don't. I want to do the 10 down and the 7 reverse because it's just been a long time since I've seen them and there's a lot of coat there. Then get your Furminator. Come get a Furminator at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Get your Furminator for this. Shave it all down, do your Furminator, come back one over. Feel the coat with the 10 down, feel the coat afterwards with the 7. Know the difference. And that way you can sell the difference. You can say, I can make that hair just a little bit shorter if you don't mind. It's gonna look a, it's a little gonna look a little tightened up, a little tighter than the 10 down, but it's still a shave down. And and if you say it's a military shave down, they're gonna understand this is this is this is short. You know what I mean? It's a military shave down. And they're like, oh yeah, I know what that is, like that box shaved cut. Tell them it's a military shave down, you're gonna love it, the dog's gonna be cooler, you're gonna be happy, I'm gonna be happy, and we're gonna get this off, and I'll see you in three or four months, maybe six months, and in Stanley's, Stanley's re repeat time, six to eight months, 10 months, okay? So it really depends on how long they can handle it, and once, right now, he ain't gonna shed for a while. It's so cool. The pet parent is like, maybe like four or five months, there's no sweeping. So it just depends on what you wanna do. All right. Make sure you get your tools at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Let me just say that again. Get your tools at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and be sure to share if you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a fan. I appreciate you. <laughs>